Drawing Out the Facts, the Naked Science Scrapbook. Hello and welcome to the Naked Science Scrapbook from the Naked Scientists. This time we'll be answering the question... Why does helium make your voice sound funny? If you've ever done it yourself or seen someone do it at a party, you'll know that squeaky, chipmunk-like voice you get if you breathe in helium. But what causes it? <clears throat> First of all, let's look at how we usually make sound with our voices. You make sound by pushing air from your lungs through your vocal cords, causing them to vibrate. They open and close hundreds of times a second, creating a series of tiny puffs of air coming into your mouth. Air is made up of molecules, so although it may seem to us to be weightless, it has mass. This means that it has momentum, so when the puffs of air push out of your mouth, they overshoot, leaving lower pressure inside your mouth. This means that the air will then get sucked back in. If your voice box closes and stops pushing more air up, the air will keep oscillating in and out of your mouth several hundred times in a second, eventually dying away. It's a bit like if you slosh all the water in your bath up one end, it'll all slosh back the other way again and will keep sloshing back and forth, gradually getting less and less. The speed or frequency of this oscillation in and out of your mouth is known as the resonant frequency. When you make sound with your vocal cords, it's not just a nice, clean, single sine wave like this, but a mixture of lots of different frequencies. If one of the frequencies produced matches the resonant frequency of the mouth and throat, then that frequency will be amplified and will be dominant in what other people hear. Going back to the bath analogy again, it's a bit like continuing to move the water at the right speed and that makes the sloshes of water get bigger and bigger, amplifying them. You can change the resonant frequency by changing the shape of your mouth, which is how we make different vowel sounds. So an R ah shape amplifies higher frequencies than an OO shape. When you breathe helium, because it's only one-seventh of the density of air, i.e. it has much less mass, the acceleration of the gas in and out of your mouth is going to be much faster. It's like having two masses on springs. The lighter one will bounce much faster than the heavier one. This increases the resonant frequency of your mouth, meaning that higher frequencies from your vocal cords will be amplified than before in air. So the mixture of frequencies coming out of your vocal cords is the same, but what people hear sounds much higher because the higher frequencies are amplified over the lower ones, which are still there, but are much quieter in comparison. So to bust a few myths about breathing helium, Helium doesn't actually make the pitch of your voice any higher. Your vocal cords don't vibrate any faster with helium than air, but the resonant frequency of your throat and mouth has been increased, so the timbre or quality of the sound changes, making your voice sound squeaky. That's it for this time. To get the answers to more science questions, join us online at thenakedscientist.com forward slash scrapbook. Bye!